communities united in grief, grappling with the loss of more than 30 people in less than 24 hours. Let's go, let's go. First in El Paso, at a Walmart crowded with back to school shoppers Saturday morning. More than 20 dead, dozens more injured in just minutes. An active shooter on 5th Street. Then 1,500 miles away, Dayton, Ohio, a gunman wearing body armor opens fire in a popular bar district, killing nine, including his younger sister. But police took down Connor Betts in just seconds. In Texas, Patrick Crucius, seen here on surveillance video, surrendered to police after terrorizing the store with an AK-47 style rifle. Among the victims, a young couple protecting their two-month-old infant. We think he shielded her, she shielded the baby, and that's how he was able to survive. Heroism in the midst of heartbreak. While investigators search for answers, specifically the manifesto the El Paso suspect posted on 8chan 20 minutes before the shooting. Because they're able to do it anonymously, it's very difficult for law enforcement to intervene. Cloudflare, an internet service and security provider, announced overnight they'd no longer provide service to 8chan. Authorities are treating the massacre as an act of domestic terrorism as two American cities and the nation mourn. Wendy Woolfolk, NBC News, El Paso.